Richard, another key change concerns financial eligibility. What are those proposals? First of all, there is a proposed change to income eligibility rules. There will be no change to the level at which clients are asked to make contributions, but there are proposals uh, for increases in the amount that clients have to contribute. And there are two proposals. One relates to increasing the amount they pay in each of the three bands that exists. And the second one is to abolish the bands and just take a flat rate contribution of 50% of the client's disposable income. At the moment, something like 25% of offers of legal aid subject to a contribution are turned down. And the vast majority of those, it's because the client can't afford the contributions. So clearly, if you increase the contributions, that's going to lead to a significant increase in that problem. There are also some very significant changes to the capital eligibility rules. First, at the moment, any clients on means-tested benefits are automatically passported through on capital, so they automatically qualify for legal aid, and that rule is going to be abolished. The second proposal is that any client who has capital of between £1,000 and £3,000 will be asked to pay a flat rate contribution of £100. At the moment, nobody with capital less than £3,000 has to make any such contribution. And the third, and perhaps most significant change of all, is that from now on, when calculating a client's capital, the equity in their home, if they are a homeowner, will be taken into account. At the moment, up to £100,000 of equity is disregarded, and that means that most homeowners do still qualify for legal aid at the moment. And what is the effect of the changes to the capital rules likely to be? There are some significant changes that come about as a result of the combination of these proposals. So the £100 contribution from capital might not be a big issue if you were only talking about liquid capital. But if the capital that you're talking about is the equity in someone's home, then whether they're on means-tested benefits or on incomes low enough to qualify for legal aid, it's difficult to see where they will find £100 from. But perhaps even more worrying is that for those who are on means-tested benefits, if the equity in their home is taken into account, it means that any homeowner on income support or other means-tested benefits will be financially ineligible for legal aid and they will not be able to come back in under the government's proposed exceptional funding test, which applies only to the scope of legal aid, not to the means test. So it seems to me this would be guaranteed to lead to circumstances that will breach the European Convention on Human Rights, where people who under that convention should be provided with representation will fall outside the scope of the scheme.